Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So today we, today we are playing Moth House. Moth House is a horror game where you go to a house and you're gonna collect moths. Don't know why, but we're gonna do it anyway. Um, don't know if this is going to be creepy or if it's just going to be, you know, a really nice, comfortable adventure through a house while collecting harmless moths. So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get started with Moth House. Huh. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. Interesting. Okay. Um. So, dad is gone and he wants me to collect moths throughout the house oh this is oh this is amazing look at that that is beautiful the image of the hand is just slightly just moving it's like a couple frames this is awesome i love this I love this old film look too. Raining outside. Very nice. Oh, my fire is going out. Okay. It's a really nice house. Oh, okay. Okay. That was a freaking rat too. Okay. I thought this... Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. Use the mouse wheel to change the item. We have a net. Can we catch these? Use tab to open backpack. Oh, we're catching them. Okay, cool. Already. Leopard moth. American dagger moth. This is a fun game. Can we capture them all here? Come on. Look at that. They're all inside of this jar. What is this last one down? What is going on with this one? Please don't bring up some creepy Mothman stuff. Come on. Eat. I just ate it with my net. Can I eat this? Oh. What does that say? Milk? Is that... <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Oh, we're gonna get this. Come here. So we're just... Oh, man. This guy's huge. So what... What's this? We got a uh, tiger moth. We got a... Whatever that's called up there. I wonder if I have any bug people that watch. I'm sure they're happy right now. I mean, I myself, I'm not, I'm not scared of bugs, moths, butterflies, spiders, or anything. Anything that is creepy crawly well you know what sometimes sometimes i get creeped out by little creatures but only because i'm 
Only because I'm either A, scared of squishing them, or B, just a tiny thing that can get inside of your ear, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having fun. Did I clean up this whole entire hallway? There's not a single moth, I think. All right, my work is done here, I think. All right. To the next room, I guess. Oh, that is an <laughs> that is an ominous painting there. Each hallway is ex extremely dark. Uh no. Pick up. What? Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average valve of about 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Interesting. Okay. So, okay. 41. Oh! That, <laughs> it's gotta stop. Oh, that one's locked. That means that there's, there's probably moths in here. Probably a big moth. Please don't give me gigantic moths. Ooh. Hello. Oh my god. These are big. Is that? <laughs> Best TV ever. Okay. Well, these guys are big. Okay. Come here. I got all of you. I'm sure glad that we don't have to worry about getting matches or something like that. I'm gonna get all of them. All the moths are mine. We're good. Hey, we got more. What's this? A crowbar? Okay. Hey, that's cute. I love moths. They're so cute. They're all fuzzy and they got like... Sometimes they... It looks like they have huge bunny ears sometimes. I love that. Hopefully this game will make all of us appreciate moths so much more. Can I cook? What? Recipes? What? What am I? What? I'm cooking? I guess we gotta use the crowbar for this. Hey. Alright. Well, we went through this door. So, can we get a little... There we go. Use F to light and put out a match. Why would you want to put it out? Are we going to get attacked by big moths or something? Yeah, these guys are getting big. Is that an empty pizza box? Yeah, it is. Save recipe. We have a recipe for what? <laughs> that jar is getting really full. Can we cook with whatever this recipe? Wait, we're cooking the moths? What? Wait a minute. We're not setting them free by doing that. We're cooking them. Why would we? Wh why? Oh, no. We're not going to go down there. No, thank you. Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! <gasps> what? Oh, <laughs> Is this the basement that I almost went? Oh, man. I'm glad I didn't go there, but I still... I... 
I'm in a cocoon. I was... Am I a moth now? What happened? Why am I stuck here? I'm stuck here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. We're good. I thought it was going to be another glitch. Wait, why is that moving? Is there somebody in there? Is my dad here? I didn't realize they were on the ceiling. Hello? Yeah, that's not good. Maybe I spent too much time here. WD. Ooh. He's around here. I don't like it. Oh! No! No! No, he's here! Maybe I just missed him. Oh, sh... Okay. <laughs> Not a good situation here. Pure darkness. Pure darkness. God. Please don't. Like, can you hear me or, or I thought this was just going to be a moth collecting game, not this stealth horror game. Yep, there he is. If you're right here, I'm going to be pissed. Is this a key? Please be a key. What did I get? I, I think I got a key. Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in biology for his discovery of the lingua moth, a new species of moth that can speak human language. The lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery, and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Great, you found a nightmare moth. I... you... No, please don't... I think I got a key. I think that sound that I heard was a key sound. It has to be. I I got it in the darkness. Okay. What am I cooking here? Why am I why am I doing this? Is this to... Is this to like... Hello? What the hell was that? I guess I have to use this in order to maybe... I guess... Make the other moth stop? So now that I have a key, what am I going to do with this key and... Oh, little bathroom action. Oh, are these the ones that I'm missing? Yes! Sorry. A little too excited about moths. The key worked. What? Oh my god! Oh. Hello human, I am the moth. King's helper. You see, the king can't speak, 
like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the moth king is hungry. Please don't kill me while I'm talking. He is already tired of eating little moths flying past him once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup, moth soup. Well, <laughs> there are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the moth king. I have a feeling this is not a great soup. <sighs> this is so weird. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Okay. Also, what? Oh, hold on. <laughs> what is it saying? I gotta... So it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. Okay, cool. I, I was having trouble... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, this is so creepy. All right. So now we have to go make more soup. All right. So not enough ingredients. Not enough ingredients. Cook. So we already made this one. Now we need to work on these other two. So it looks like we have to make two more soups. Good soup. And the moth will be happy. The moth king. What the hell is this game? <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. We need some more Hercules beetles. Oh, uh, Hercules moths. Hercules beetles? What am I? Wrong game. All right, what do we have? Where did I find the Hercules moths? Yeah, there he goes. Hey, hey, buddy. Please go away. Please leave me alone. be really interesting if there was moths inside of these closets and if you did that you can grab some oh we're making a dent let's go yes I think we're gonna be set really really soon for that soup another recipe what is happening there's too many recipes. How hungry can this king get? And I have a really bad feeling about that. Oh! <laughs> I feel like I'm 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 going to start using the moth as as a way to just teleport back. <laughs> this moth is like, "Hey, let me capture you." All right. So, can we? We can! Boom! All right. I hope, I hope this is enough. I hope, I hope that this is good soup. Hello? Okay, here we go, here we go. Thank you for feeding the Moth King. However, he says that your soups were terrible and he would have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the King's orders. Oh no. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there's no choice. So goodbye. Okay. Oh my god.
Los L. <laughs> what that is insane that is absolutely insane all right we ended up in hell but i know there has to be another ending or two so let's go ahead and go for that okay so i feel like this is probably the great soup i this has to be it it's one of every single moth if this isn't it and I don't know. Okay. One more. Let's see. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers. And we can finally leave this old house. And find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you. But we have to go. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, no. That's... Um, was that really a good ending? I, I feel like I doomed humanity. I don't know. That was definitely Mothra. <laughs> so, I don't know. Did I just cause the end of humanity as we know it? Once again, I, I feel like there has to be another ending. I, I think I read on the description that there's three. So... I wonder if I just like collect everything, maybe something else will happen. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to mess around and go straight to the ending. I I feel like there might be something else that I can do here. I think we have we have one of every we have one one black witch moth. That's interesting. Okay, now we have like 13 of them. So we're good. I think I think we're set. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we try to leave the house with all of these moths in our trusty jar. It worked. Awesome. Oh, we're setting them free just as your dad wanted. Okay. Yeah. Moth House. A game by Ken Forrest. That was great. I had a lot of fun with that. That was so unique. That was so unique. Not every game is like that. And I, again, I can't stress it enough. I want all of these horror developers to experiment with their games. Like it doesn't have to be photorealistic. It doesn't have to be crazy with jump scares and everything like that. Like for example, this is like low poly. You even had just like a sprite for your hand and everything. I loved it. The atmosphere was great. I really enjoyed that it had multiple endings as well. Folks, as always, I placed a link in the description below so that you can go ahead and check out the game for yourself. Download Moth House, support the developer, and see if you can find anything else that I may have missed. I had a ton of fun playing this, and I hope you enjoyed watching me play. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to catch us next time. I hope to see you again. And as always, take care. Peace. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.